Hey there, YTPC. It's your boy Cosmo, Cat Dead Piper. Came out here uh, late Saturday afternoon, grabbed myself a pipe. So just you do the same. Pack it with something you like. Do a bowl call, leave down below what you're smoking. What you're smoking it in. I always enjoy reading those. But let's share a pipe together. I've got my new Peterson 999 Rhodesian. Packed with some Briarworks Country Lawyer. Had it once, enjoyed it. Gonna try it again. Got a sample from uh, Matthew over at Pickin' and Piping from his gaw. And uh, be doing a review for that hopefully in the next week, so stay tuned. But let's get this lit. Let's try that again. <laughs> Okay, it looks like I'm going to switch to the lighter. I already had a pipe because I was going to record this a little bit ago. But as soon as I decided to start, near behind the alley over there, decided to pull out his power washer, so thought I'd grab this one. I do like this tobacco a lot, but I'll save that for the review. <sighs> Pretty relaxed Saturday. Went to coffee, had some crocheting done. Yeah, I thought I'd come out and have a couple of pipes while it's decent out. I'm tilt this back a little bit. I think it's like high 70s right now. A little bit of humidity, but there's a breeze and overcast, so. Not the prettiest day out, but it's not supposed to rain, so I'll take it. Got the uh, verdicts back from my traffic tickets and still got stuck with two of them. Got the uh, yield to or failure to yield to emergency vehicle. That one got taken out. So that's good. I uh, was hoping that they all get dropped. But I wasn't expecting them all to get dropped. So now I'm in the process of setting up a payment arrangement, which... Better than having to owe the lump sum. Same time, I'm still taking money I don't have each month. But that story is pretty much done for now, so. The other day in one of my yabos, I got a. Uh, Missouri Meerschaum Dagner poker pipe and uh, first poker pipe and it's a great smoker but I did the Yabo recorded that took a picture to post on Instagram 
Then I took the uh, stem out to see if it was filtered. And as soon as I pulled that out, there was a little silver metal ring around the band, or band around the uh, stem. That thing popped off. Fell to the floor, bounced twice, and went nothing but net through one of the gaps in my deck. So that's gone forever, but it's that's all right. It's not the uh, first thing to get lost to the deck. And it's amazing, it's usually things that are, you know, at most a millimeter smaller than the actual gap. And they just whoosh. Slam dunking like Jordan. Yep, sure enough, I got a audience, the window over here. My buddy Jake, he's watching me. Probably waiting for me to open the door so he can try to sneak out. Drives me nuts because he's an indoor cat. And I usually have to wait for him to get done, for him to come inside, because he thinks it's a game. If I go to try to grab him, get within about six feet, and he's off running. As you can tell by the smoke, this is a excellent smoking pipe. And the uh, Rhodesian, that's right up there in my favorite shapes, along with uh, Bulldog and the author or the uh, 320 shape. Can't tell. I don't know if this is the Iran Peterson. If it is, I've got a couple of rounds. I always love that metal work there on it. <sighs> but I like this pipe because it's it's not a huge bowl. It's a great clenching size. It's surprisingly lightweight. Can't get the uh, smoke rings today.
I've been thinking a lot lately about our buddy Paul, Papa Bear's Nook. I don't know if I can really get into it. Uh, if you're in the Discord group, you know what's going on, but... He's had a, uh, an eventful week, to say the least. And if you do follow him, or if you don't, first of all, go follow him. But give him and his family some prayers. Lift them up. Again, it's not my right to get into what's going on, but I can't imagine. A lot of a lot of emotions going on, I'm sure. Uh, if you haven't followed Parsimonious Piper lately, he's doing a video series on pipe hunting as far as like estate pipes. A lot of good information. Go check them out. I'm enjoying it because I like looking for good deals and mainly I like looking for unique pipes. You know, something you haven't seen. I don't remember if I mentioned or not. There was a pipe a couple weeks ago that Ended up not selling or getting a bid on eBay. I'd never seen anything like it, but it's a little bit higher price than I would look to spend on it. It was a poker-shaped pipe. I think they said it was from the 20s or 30s. But it was branded Black & Decker. Uh, like the appliance or electronic company. Right on the bottom of the pipe. On the bottom of the bowl, it said Black and Decker. It's kind of cool, and it's in pretty good shape, too, so. Might have to see if they relist it, maybe lower the price, and then watch it and see if maybe they give me an offer. Anyways, this is about done. I, uh, Packed it pretty loose and not quite full because it was a. Uh, it's still getting broken in, so. Anyways, just thought I'd share a pipe with you. Didn't have a whole lot else going on. Appreciate you guys joining me as always, and uh, hope you continue to have a great weekend if you catch it on the weekend or whenever you see this. But as always, thanks for watching. God bless, and we'll see you soon.